Hi, I'm Galen Zamara, executive chef at Moss Farmhouse here in New York City. I'm going to make an heirloom apple tart fiend and almond frangipan and caramel sauce. So let's get started with the almond frangipan. I have almond flour, powdered sugar, and some butter. And we just put all this into a mixer and mix them together until it forms a nice paste. And what we're gonna do is crack an egg into that. So here's the frangipan. Okay, next we're gonna make the caramel sauce and we're gonna start with caramelizing some sugar. I'm using this Anilon Advanced Hard Anodized Pot. It's excellent because it cooks your food evenly and allows for a good consistency in your product. So once your caramel is formed, you're gonna add your heavy cream and your butter. And you just whisk that together until the butter melts. That brings us to the heirloom apple tart fiend. I'm using a frozen sheet of puff pastry. So you dust this with flour, and what we're gonna do is just roll it out to about the thickness of a quarter. If you're using the frozen puff pastry, make sure that you thaw it out in the refrigerator first. We're gonna use this pastry cutter. I have a six inch round one, and just cut out a nice little circle here. Here I have these Anilon Sure Grip cookie sheets. These are great because they have a silicone grip on them makes it easy to pull out of the oven. If you're wearing oven mitts or whatever, you get a good grip on it. So I turn one of these upside down, put a piece of parchment paper, lay the puff pastry circle down, put another piece of parchment paper on top, and put another cookie tray on top. Now these are pretty heavy, but we're gonna want another weight on top because I don't want the puff pastry to rise. I have a preheated 375 degree oven and bake them for about 10 to 15 minutes until they're golden brown. It's great, it's golden brown, nice and thin. While it's cooling, we can go ahead and peel the apples. So here we have our wine sap apples growing up in the Hudson Valley. We'll slice them up thin. We're gonna take the almond frangipan and we're gonna spread a layer evenly over the bottom of this tart shell. So just sort of fan out these apple slices like so. And we just want to cut up some small pieces and just layer them all around. And then we have our maple sugar. We just dust it right over the top like this. Put it back on these cookie trays and put it in the oven for about eight minutes. Okay, so the tart's been in the oven for eight to ten minutes. It's golden brown on top from the caramelized maple sugar. Put it on the plate. And we're gonna take our caramel sauce and drizzle that around. And I have a little powdered sugar here and we'll just dust right over the top of it. Here's our heirloom apple tart fiend with almond frangipan and caramel sauce. Come join us now as we sit down and enjoy this meal with Jonathan, Bill, and I talk about slow food values. I'm Galen Zamara from Moss Farmhouse. If you need more information, go to slowfoodusa.org and analon.com.